Hi, everybody. John Pachetta here with PT. Welcome back to PTS. Dan with our sales guru, Dan Hudak. How are we, Dan? I'm good. I know you can't wait to ask me this question. So let's I get know. <laughs> let's talk about being humble and humility in sales. What do you think? Well, I'm probably the most humble sales guy you'll ever meet. <laughs> uh-huh. No, look, I think that we as salespeople need to have a spine of steel, so to speak, wrapped in a velvet of human relations. Let that sink in for a little bit. I need to be very sure what I'm doing and, and why I'm doing it and the process that I'm following. But I need that velvety outer coating of human relationship. I need to make sure <laughs> who I'm talking to is feeling okay. Yep. Because if they're not going to feel okay on what I'm telling them, they're going to fight me or they're going to try to kick me out. And and so it's kind of like this, you know, I'll talk to an owner and the owner says, I want to do the sales training, but I really want to talk to my salespeople to make sure that they, they will do it. The steel spine in me goes, you're kidding, right? <laughs> And, and I could just leave it at that. The velvet covering goes, help me understand, because this is the exact same sales team that frankly isn't out there prospecting. They're not closing. They're dropping their price all the time. It's costing you X amount of money. They don't want to change. They're not coming to you saying, boss, we need it. We need training. Why would you go to them? You know, it's that kind of stuff, John. So it's be direct, but in a nurturing sort of way. And, and yeah, so as long as you don't let that that humble side or the empathy position it as a lack of confidence or weak in the conversation. Yeah. I think that's where the danger can come into play. And that's what you're describing of, Hey, be firm in your stance. Don't deviate from your positions, but how you present that, that's what you can work on in terms of that humble and empathetic side. Yeah. And it's also not getting into the arrogance. Yes. Nobody wants to deal with an arrogant person. So I think that's another side of humility that needs to come across is I can be very direct, but I do so in a way that you don't feel like I'm being overly assertive or arrogant. Yeah, and we've all been around that person that shows us in all the right ways. They're, they're humble and empathetic, but they illustrate their skill sets, their confidence, and they show us their expertise. And that's kind of the sweet spot in, in engagement. Yeah, it's kind of like that doctor who has great bedside manner. You know, they're the expertise. They're very sure of what they're doing, but they make you feel good as they're about to do surgery on you. Yeah. 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 Excellent. All right, everybody. Thanks so much. We'll see you again tomorrow. See you later. Bye.